Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to solve a 6x6 Rubik's Cube. And today's shout out, it goes to Cuberzil, his channel link will be in the description. If you want a shout out, make sure you subscribe and like and watch the end of the video on how. Alright, the first step in solving 6x6 is to build a white center. So the first step is to build a white line. So we have on top, we, we always have one line. We need one more piece over here. And that piece, we can just find it throughout the cube. And that one's right here. We can rotate it up like this. So we can build a white line. All right, next step is to find another white line and build it up. So we have two over here. We can move it to the top like this and move this to the top. And now we should have two pieces on top. And now we define these two pieces. So we can put this corner uh, center up here by doing this, moving it up. So we can pair that. Now we have one more piece left and we should be able to find it over here or someplace. Slice it together and move it up like that. All right, we'll keep building uh, bars until we have a white center. Now when you have problems like this where your center is like this and when you pair it, you can still pair it like this, but uh, there are no corner centers. But what you can do is actually just move it into a different axis and pair it up like that. And then we can see these can go in here like this. And we have one more, and that one is over here, which we can rotate just like that. And we can put it up into there to make a white center. All right, once the white center is done, we're gonna flip it to the bottom and do yellow center because yellow is always opposite of white. So we do the same concept. We build a yellow bar and put it in the top. So let's find a yellow. Okay, so we got this one, which is nearly always built, which is what we like. We can put this piece over here by doing a rotation like that and move it at the top. But when we move it to the top, we also broke up the white center. So we can move this out the way and move the white layer back down. All right, we got one yellow bar. We're gonna build another one. So I see these two are already together and we can build it by putting this one over here. And we have this one over here. We can rotate like that and connect it. Move it into the top. Again, we kind of broke up the white layer. We can move that down, spin the top twice. Move that back down so we can fix the white. Keep doing that until you have the yellow center built. All right, when you're on your last bar and when you move it up and you can't actually restore this because every time you rotate, it will just bring up one of these yellows down. So what you do is actually just uh, don't move it up yet. Move it into one that's already solved. So like that one, spin the top twice and then you can replace this one back like that. Once you do the two centers, put it to the side with the yellow facing right and white facing left. And you wanna build it in this order, blue, orange, green and red. So we're gonna start building a blue center. So we have these two over here, we can rotate it to the side and find two more that can pair up into a block. So we have a multiple pieces over here. We can rotate this up. We need one more. And this one can also be flipped and bring that down just like that to make a bar. Now we continuously building bars. So let's build this one. Or let's build this one actually because it's almost built. We're going to rotate like this so we can bring this layer down because this one can match up over here. Pair it in the uh, bar and move it up to the blue. Just like that. Continuously doing this until you build the blue center. Alright, as you can see here, we got the blue center built and after blue is going to be orange. So we're going to build the orange on over here. And we can actually flip it around to do it because it's actually easier to look at pieces over here. So what we're going to do is build the orange center. So I have this bar over here, which we can easily build. So we're gonna rotate it to the side here and find pieces that can match up over there. And we can see this one can go up here just like that. And once we did that, we also destroyed the blue center. So we can move that out the way and move that back down to fix the uh, orange. All right, let's find the last piece that goes here. And that one is over here. So we can move this up twice. Move that out over here so we can restore the blue, just like that. All right, let's find another bar we can build. So we got this one that's nearly built, which is good. Uh, we can match this corner up with over here. So we can move that over here, bring the corner down so it matches, move it out the way so we can restore the blue, just like that. Now we can move this up into the orange, We hit it twice, and restore the blue. Keep doing those steps until you have the orange center. Again, we're in a last piece and this has to go over here. 
don't put it into this free spot because we can't restore the blue center. So what we do is rotate it into a solve one, turn it twice, and restore the whole bar back. Now we've done the orange center, we're going to do the hardest part, which is the last two centers. So what we're going to do is pick any one that has more than uh, one connected. So this one, this one, this one. And uh, make sure you're doing it in the right color scheme. So if orange is on the bottom, make sure red goes on the top. And if your blue is on the bottom, make sure green goes at the top. So what we're going to do is, since orange is on bottom for my one, we're going to put most of the red pieces on top. So what we have here is we have a bar like this, and we can rotate it into the top, just like that. And move it out the way so we can restore this whole bar. Alright, we have another piece over here that goes over here. So we can rotate it in formation. Now, if we do that, we can't actually restore the pieces. So we're going to move this top twice, so we can move it into a solid bar. Move it twice. So when we move it back down, we also solve these two pieces back. All right, we have one more major bar over here we can put into the red. So again, since uh, we can't put it here because we'll be destroying this one and all the red centers, so we can move it over here, move it up, spin the top twice, and move it back down so we fix it. And these two remain solved. All right, now we have these small pieces and we're gonna do something called commutators to solve these. If you want to learn more about commutators, you can check a link in the description about a video I made. So what commutators do is they move pieces to where they need to go. So here's what we do. So choose any piece that needs to go. So I'm going to choose this one, and this one can go here. So we're going to move this layer, only that layer, up. Move the top layer into a different axis. Move this layer, wherever that corner was, up. Move that back, so we can restore this orange piece and move the top layer back so we can restore this orange piece. Just like that, and we move the uh, red center piece up here. I'm gonna do one more example. So we have this red piece, we can go up to here, so we can rotate it into the right places. Move this up. Move this out over here, so we can move this axis up. Move it back, move this layer back down. Move that back, bring this the whole layer back down. Just like that. And you're going to repeat this until you have all your pieces solved. Alright, congratulations, you've done all six centers. And now uh, the hard part is done, we're going to do edge pairing. So if you've done 5x5 and 4x4 before, you should know how to do edge pairing. But we're going to do a little different technique here, so we can make parity if that happens easier. So what we're going to do is actually just build two pieces here first. Like two pieces here. And then build the wings uh, above it. So we're going to start doing that. So we have a white and blue here, and a blue and white here. And they're across from each other, which is how we want it. So we can slice them over here like that. Move it up to the top layer. Find any edges that are broken, we can replace it with. Move that back down. And restore the whole layer of centers. Just like that, and we have one blue piece here solved. Alright, I'm going to do another one. So let's find, alright, we have a white and green piece. Let's find the other white and green, which should go here. And that one's right here. So we can move it in down like that. But as you can see, they're diagonal from each other, so we can't actually slice them. So when they're diagonal, we're going to do this algorithm, which I'll show right here. Just like that, and now they're diagonal or across, not across from each other. Now we can simply slice these. Move it up. Find any unsolved piece. Now do not move this one because this one is the last one just solved. So we can rotate it over here to find one that's not resolved. Move it back down so we can slice this whole piece back. And now we should have the solved piece up here. Alright, I'm going to show you another example. Um, let's see, let's do, let's do this one. Red and blue and this other red and blue piece is right here. This time they're in the right place we want it to. We can slice it over. Rotate it up, move it out the way so we can bring a not solved piece here, move it down, and connect it together. So you want to do this uh, over 12 times to solve all the pieces around the cube and make sure they're like this. Alright, while you're on the last two that are not solved, and when you pair it together and move it up, there are no other pieces around the cube that are not solved you can replace it with. So what you want to do is just don't do that yet. And this is the only time we want uh, the pieces, the the pieces to be uh, across from each other. So we're going to do the across algorithm, which is going to be on top. Just like that, so they're across from each other right now. 
Now what we're going to do is follow the algorithm so we can pair these two together. So what you, this is the algorithm on the top. And just like that, we should have these two paired up, just like that. All right, once you've done this, you should have all the middle two pieces paired up around the whole cube. And some of them might have extra pieces paired up, which is a, a bonus, which is good. So we're going to start pairing up the wings now. All right, when we start pairing up wings, we're going to find a one that's all solved or something. So we're going to find uh, one of these. So this one has a yellow and green. Let's find a yellow and green piece, which is right here. Rotate it up. And now as you can see, this one and this one are diagonal from each other, which we will need to do the algorithm to put this down here. So uh, we'll do the algorithm. Just like that. Now they are across from each other. Now we can slice it, move it up, and find any piece we can replace it with. Doesn't matter if it's solved or not because uh, we're not moving these layers out. Just like that, and we have should one have, uh, we should have one solved edge. All right, let's find another piece. So we have this piece here and this piece we can put into uh, over here. Just like that. Now we can pair these up because they're across from each other. Just like this. Move into the top layer. Find any pieces unsolved, which is Metroidium right now. Move it in. Move it down. Restore. All right, let's do another one. So we have a blue and red. Let's find a blue and red wing, which is right here. We can insert it into the front. Slice it. So it pairs up. Move it to the top. Find any pieces up here that's not solved. Move it down and repair the pieces. What You want to keep doing this until all your pieces on the cube are solved. All right, once you made it to the last two edges and they're either like this, where wherever you move it, you can't pair it up because all the other pieces are solved, so you can't actually replace any. So what you want to do is rotate it so that the most solved is on your left. So like this one is the most solved and you want to put it to your left like that. So what you want to do is follow the iron on top. And just like that, you should have solved the two edges. Or if you have this case where the two are flipped, you want to do this algorithm, which you put on top. And just like that, your pieces have solved. All right, now your edge pairing is done. It's basically like a three by three, but you might run into parity. So what you want to do is proceed to solve it like a 3 by 3 and if you have parity, I'll show you that right now. Alright, so when you're done across first two layers and you get to all out, and you have this kind of piece where one edge is flipped on the whole cube, so basically parity. So this case cannot appear on 3 by 3 which is why it's kind of impossible. So you need to move the middle layers. So if you know 4 by 4 this should be really easy, but for those who don't and just uh, want to learn, um, we're going to show you right now. So follow the algorithm on top of the screen. And it's a double layer, so all three layers together. And just like that, you should have a more familiar case. Alright, now you've got the parity, PLO parity solved, you might also have PLO parity, so I'll also show you that right now. So this is PLO parity, where you have a case that you cannot get on 3x3. So for example, this one, these two have switched, and no other pieces have switched. If you have other cases that are also not familiar with 3x3 on PLO parity, this, this algorithm would solve all of them. So here's the algorithm. You can hold it anywhere you like. So you want to move these three layers. And just like that, you should have a U-perm or a more familiar PLO case. And now we could just solve this case with uh, whatever algorithm you use. And just like that, you have solved the 6x6 Rubik's Cube. Alright guys, that's it for the 6x6 tutorial. I hope this helped you to solve your 6x6 Rubik's Cube. And I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.